so far shit so far plugins are right so far plugins are playing a very good role when it comes to design i want to share 12 plugins that interested me and uh, helped me a lot when i was and i am designing so let's get into the video now my favorite 12 plugins which i feel is necessary and important for every designer number one Autoflow. Autoflow is the best and easy tool to create a quick user flow. You can just create a user flow in a very bit of time by just creating shapes and connecting them. Number two, Chart. Chart is a plugin for Figma which actually helps to incorporate the real random data to create the most popular charts. Chart mostly supports uh, a data from like helps you to copy paste the data from um, editors like Excel sheets, Google sheets, CSV and JSON files. Number three, Content Reel. Content Reel is a place where you can get everything literally everything like images strings icons avatars whatever you want this is most important and time saving plugin for me so you can also try using this if you want number four dark mode magic so it's a very funny and like very interesting plugin which actually helps you to uh, change the light theme to dark theme with just one click so it doesn't optimize all the colors in the light theme to dark theme but it actually helps in converting the colors from dark theme to light theme sorry from light theme to dark theme so it's, it's very helpful if you are uh, creating something in both the light and dark theme designs you can actually use this tool to convert because like it's a very time saving again you don't need to spend a lot of energy in converting all this to black and white so yeah you can use this number five icon resizer importing a bunch of icons and resizing it is a very hectic procedure and it takes a long time to do it but you can resize all the icons just by selecting and with a single click this icon resizer helps you to resize the icons and importing it from the other sources common resources and into a proper size of course in the size you want figma 2 html css react and more you can convert any website to a figma design with just a couple of clicks again imagine converting any website to design and using that website component yeah it happens in this plugin so you can use it number seven Figmoji. Figmoji is an emojis library pack. You can get a lot of emojis and it will help you to add the SVGs of those uh, emojis into your Figma file. Number eight, Iconify. Iconify is the largest library of uh, icons in Figma plugins. It has hundreds sets of icons containing one lakh icons you can able to import into your Figma document as vector shapes. Number nine, Draw Connector. Draw Connector is again a connecting plugin which helps to label and connect the shapes just like that. When it comes to user flows, of course you need it. Number ten, it's an interesting one. It's Lottie Files. With the Lottie Files plugin, you can insert animations into your designs. You can either import SVG or GIF animations, which are completely free. Free. And it has around thousands of animations we can use. Number 11, Remove Background. It's named as Remove BG. This plugin helps you to remove the background of any images if you are using it. And it is one of the best plugin, which actually saves our time, which helps to remove the background with again a single click. And number Number 12. Unsplash is a very popular plugin in Figma. I don't know if you all know. In the earlier days, I was using the Unsplash website to get the images, uh, uh, proper HD images for my designs. You want it in your Figma, you can download this plugin. You can install this plugin. It helps you to import a lot of images with again a single click. It's, it's easy. So you can get a lot of HD images for your designs. It's just so clear and uh, so aesthetically Cool. Yeah, that's all 12 plugins are done. I have few more interesting plugins. Um, I'm working on that. I was not used to that so much like how, how it is to give the review and feedback. So I'll use them and let you guys know. And I also started posting few of the contents in Instagram as reels and shorts in YouTube. So if you want to check, you can check them as well. Thank you.